on some level, you contributed to the hyperpartisan climate. Sure. You didn't create it. So is that part of it, what you did, this monster built that you built in a way, found the living manifestation that could lead it? I mean, yeah, that, unfortunately, what, what, unfortunately, there was always a dynamic pressure inside the party. So the fiscal people and the individual liberty people would keep the social conservatives from getting too out of control. The social conservatives would keep the fiscal people from getting too out of control. The foreign policy people, you know, this, this, this tripartite internal, the three-legged stool, they used to call it. Well, with Trump, that all fell apart. It's all gone. It's all id. It's everything that's in their heads. They, they're told, you can have whatever you want. We're going to burn it all down. And that's what they're doing. I mean, so you're still a Republican. Like I've interviewed Michael Steele, the former yeah, you know, chair. He I, says I'm, he's I'm done. I mean, I'm done. You're, you're I, out of the party. I, I'm not. I'm look. I'm my, I haven't changed my voter registration yet, mainly because I want to vote against the sum bitch twice. But I'm not a Republican in any political sense anymore. I, Is I mean, the party gone? Yeah, the party's dead. The party's gone. And no way to bring it back. I don't see any mm-hmm. pathway for it to come back. There is nobody in this party who feels a need for reconciliation. Uh, they don't want to face their truth. They don't want to. I mean, so calling me a former Republican is accurate in in every meaningful way, and uh, but nobody in the party wants to look at what's what's been created. They don't want to look at the expansion of government, the expansion of debt, the expansion of executive power, the expansion of of mainstreamed abuse of people. All of those things are repugnant to a conservative. 